Okay, welcome again guys sa subject natin, Physics 123 or Physics for Engineers. And today, we will be discussing uh, Ohm's Law, which is the relationship between yung three components na uh, diniscuss natin last meeting between voltage, current, and resistance. And yung series and parallel circuits on how they differ from each other. Okay? So, at the end of the session, here are the things that uh, hopefully you will be able to uh, gather or to take home. So, first one is yung uh, enhanced understanding regarding the principles of electricity. Uh, apply natin yung concept and theorem of electricity. Solve problems involving yung Ohm's law. Then, solve problems involving series and parallel circuits. Okay? So, I guess this is more on a review na lang. Kasi I remember I've taught this uh, senior high last year. So, may mga estudyante ako before dito sa class na to na alam ko tinuro ko na itong uh, natuturo sa senior high itong uh, subject na ito. Ngayon, sa during physics to daw, sabi ni Mr. Fernando. No? Pero, syempre, babalikan natin kasi hindi naman tayo lahat uh, same na pinanggalingan ng school. Minsan yung ibang school, ibang kurikulum ang sinusunod. So, much better we start the same phase. No? So, okay. So, let's start. So, before we discuss tong electrical power, we have to go back dun sa na-discuss natin last meeting. So, last meeting, we already introduced yung current, voltage, and resistance. So, as I review, anong, anong ang formula for current? Pag current lang pinag-uusapan. May nakaalala kaya anong uh, pag yung current alone lang yung pinag-uusapan natin, ano yung formula ng ginagamit natin? Hello. Wala wala nakaalala. Lukot naman. <laughs> uh, bukod sa V over R, no? Mr. Fernando, ayan. Uh, correct, Mr. Pelabelio, no? Uh, pag, pag si current pinag-uusapan natin, no? That's needed by I. Pinag-uusapan natin is si Q over T. Si Q is ano? Ano nga ulit si Q? Uh, charge. Okay? Charge si Q. Then si time is yung specified time. So, you see, si current is yung charge per unit time natin. Na ang unit natin ay columns over seconds. Okay? And then, si voltage. Paano si voltage? Anong formula natin ginagamit kay voltage? Okay? Si voltage is yung uh, energy natin, which is W over yung charge natin. Okay? Na ang unit ng W is in joules. Okay? Then si Q is also in columns. Okay? Mahalaga yan kasi we have to um, identify kung paano natin ma sasatisfy yung conversion ng unit with each other. No? And then yung resistance natin plus is yung may del yung may ano may ro so ro okay so ro times length over area okay so yung ro natin is yung property ng material no yung resistivity property ng material, then we have yung length over yung area ng material na ginamit natin. Okay? Okay. So, now we already uh, tackle nga itong tatlong to. We will now go dun sa uh, kung paano sila related with each other. Let us first start dun sa tataw natin electrical power okay so sa electrical power daw is the rate 
or per unit time at which electrical energy is transferred by an electrical circuit. Okay? So, yung rate ng transfer ng electrical energy. So, ang unit daw ng power is in watts. Okay? Denoted by the symbol W. And, ito. It is named after the Scottish engineer James Watt. Ang conversion in Watt, 1 Watt daw is equal to 1 joules per second. Okay? So, yan yung uh, equivalent ni watts. So, ang formula ni power is the product of the voltage and the current. So, pag substitute natin yung original formula natin, we have yung charge over yung time multiplied ng energy over charge. Okay? Si charge natin magka-cancel out, matitira is si energy over time na kung ititignan natin sa units, no? ito yon C over S as J times C. So, magka-cancel out tong C, matitira is joule per second. Okay. Which is equivalent to watts. Eh, kaya mahalaga na dapat mapakita natin kung saan nang galing yung unit na yun. Okay? So again, power is equal to um, current times voltage. So later, uh, once we introduce yung Ohm's law, meron tayong mga other relationship para dun sa power formula. Okay? Then, ito, sample, uh, simple sample problems lang tayo. So an electric heater is rated at 220 volts. So, alam natin, ito yung voltage agad. Tapos, current of 5 amperes. What is the power in watts? So, power is equal to I times A. So, 5 amperes times 220 volts. So, si 5 amperes is just equivalent to columns per second. Then, si 220 volts is equivalent to joules per column. Okay? Cancel si column. So, 5 times 220 is 1,100 watts. Okay. Yeah. Okay, next. Calculate the power of a bulb burning 300 joules of energy in 15 seconds. No? Pinapakalculate yung power. Pero sabi niya 300 joules. Again, Si, si what ay equivalent sa joules per second. Yung given natin, naka-joules, tapos may given na time. So, understanding natin na dapat, i-divide lang natin siya. So, 300 joules over 15 seconds, equivalent yan sa 20 watts. Okay? Next. A 30 watt, okay, so given si power, incandescent lamp is connected to a 220 volt source. So meron tayong given na volts. Determine the current through the lamp. Okay, so si P is equals to IV. Ang nawawala ay si current, no? So I is equals to P over V. Okay, so I is equals to, P natin is 30 watts, equivalent siya sa joules per second all over Si volts natin is 220 um, joules per column. Okay? So, cancel out natin si joules. So, pupunta si column sa taas. So, magkakamera tayo ng value na. Current na 0 0.136 uh, column per second or 0 0.136 amperes. Okay? Or 0.14. Okay lang. Okay? So, yan lang yung simple application muna nung sa power natin. Question before we proceed? If wala, thumbs up na lang kung wala. Okay? So, basic pa lang naman to, no? Oh, thank you. Uh, sa number one, okay? Anong nakalagay ko? Uh, ah, okay. So, bali lang yung formula ko dito. No? <laughs> Sorry. So, IV. Okay. Thank you for clarifying, Mr. Dating. Uh, Mr. Yes, Mr. Dating. Dating galing. IV, IV tayo. 
Okay, next. Now we go dun sa electrical energy. Yung sa formula natin ng volts na W over Q. Ito yung W na yun. So ito yung electrical energy na yan. Okay? So W yung representation sa kanya kasi yung letter E, kung matatandaan nyo, no? pag E yung gagamitin para sa energy, E si E minsan designated para kay voltage. No? Kaya ang ginawa siguro ng mga... Uh, Scientists before, para to avoid confusion, is to represent the energy natin to W, signifying work. Okay? Because I said here, this energy is the capacity to do work. Okay? Yeah, W na lang yun ilagay. Okay? Then the energy W is measured in joules. Eh, ano bang equivalent ni joules? Kung ano? Kung work yan. Kung matatanda nyo, si work is equal sa force times distance. Okay? Kung si force is may unit na newton, tapos merong si distance may unit na meter, so ibig sabihin, ang work natin is equal to newton meter. Or ibig sabihin, ang 1 joule ay equivalent sa 1 newton meter. Okay? So, yan lang yung ano natin, conversion natin. Then, yung unit daw used to express yung electrical energy is commonly known as watt-hour. Okay? So, watt-hour. So, one watt-hour is equal to 3,600 joules. So, yung sabihin, yung electrical energy natin is equivalent dun sa product ng power at time. Okay? So, yung calculate natin power which is in watts, times time in, in hour, that will give us watt hour. Again, yung halaga to, yung 1 watt hour is equal to 3,600 joules. Okay? Then, ito, itong formula to. Okay, so let's apply sa example. A certain appliance uses 350 watts. Okay? So, 350 watts is power. If it is allowed to run continuously for 24 days, ito yung time niya, how many kilowatt hour of energy does it consume? Okay. So, pinapa-identify is yung electrical energy. Formula natin again is power times time. Pero ang kailangan ng unit natin na answer is kilowatt hour. Okay. So, yung power natin, 350 watts. So, okay na yan. So, yung time natin is in days, no? kailangan convert natin into hour. So, in one day, there is 24 hours. Okay? So, cancel natin yung days. So, ilan na magiging value natin? So, 350 times 24 times 24. We have 201,600 uh, watt-hour. Okay? Ang pinapanap is kilowatt hour. So, move lang tayo ng 3 decimal places to the left. The equivalent kaya na ang W natin is 201.6 kilowatt hour. Okay? Next. A 10 HP 220 motor. So, ito is voltage. It is utilized for 2 hours. Ito ay time. How much electrical energy in kilowatt hour this is consumed? So, yung horsepower ay para sa power natin, electric power. Okay? Kung ang conversion daw ng 1 HP ay equivalent sa 746 watts. Okay? So, kukonvert lang natin. So, pinapahanap ulit is yung energy. So, power times time. So, this is equals to 10 HP, they can convert, convert natin ng watts. So, 1 HP times 746 watts times 2 hours. So, yung magiging answer natin will be in watts, watt hour. So, 10 times 746 times 2. We have uh, 14,920 uh, watt hour. Then, move lang natin ng 3 decimal places to get kilowatt hour. So, 14.92 kilowatt hour. So, this is our answer. Meaning, yung given na volts is not 
uh, needed to solve for the electrical energy being asked by the problem. Okay. Next, how much electrical energy, electric energy is delivered to an electric motor during a 48 minutes? Okay, this is our time. Operation from constant 220 volt. Ito yung voltage natin. If the average current okay, is 12 amperes. If Meralco gives 1250 per kilowatt hour, ang tanatanong is how much is the energy to pay? Okay. Dagdag uh, tayo ng additional. Okay. So, yung given sa atin, how much electrical energy muna? No? So, electrical energy yung pinapahanap sa atin. So, kailangan natin na W is equals to ah, saka. Kailangan sa electric energy. Okay? So, hindi natin is P times time. Okay? Pero yung given natin is wala pa tayong P, no? So, kailangan natin si P. So, P is equivalent to so, I times V. Okay? So, yung given current natin, ilan? Ah, wait lang. Layo pa lang. Okay? So, ano yung ko lang, ha? Current natin is 12 amperes, tapos 220 volts. Okay. So 12 amperes tapos 220 volts. Again, power tayo. So equivalent natin dyan will be 2640 watt. Okay. Then yung electric energy natin is P times T. Yung T natin is in uh, minutes. So convert natin into an hour. So 60 minutes is 1 hour. Cancel out natin yung minutes. Yung electric energy natin will be equals to 2112 watt hour. Then yung unit natin in kilowatt hour is 2.112 kilowatt hour. Okay. Ito yung first answer natin. As pinapatanong kung how much no? yung magiging energy to pay niya. Kung ang presyo ng uh, per kilowatt hour is 12.50. Okay? So, ang amount natin will be equals dun sa uh, W natin times yung rate. Okay? So, 2.112 kilowatt hour. Yung rate natin is for every kilowatt hour is 12.50. Okay? So, yung amount na babayan natin, amount to pay, will be equal to 2.112 times 12.5 is 26.4 pesos. So, ito yung kababayaran natin at the end of 48 minutes. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, uh, kung meron kayong average na kilowatt rate per kilowatt hour, malalaman nyo yung... Um, average na magiging konsumo ninyo sa bahay. No? Kung gusto nyo i-check, kalimbawa, check nyo yung contador ng uh, ng, meral, ng kuryente nyo. I-record nyo yung kilowatt hour noon. Then at the end of the month, i-record nyo ulit. Pag minusin nyo yung number nyo. No? Yun yung magiging total consumption nyo for the month. Then i-multiply nyo lang dun sa average rate per kilowatt hour. No? Parang computation ko dati, around uh, around 10 to 11 pesos per kilowatt hour, no? Yung dating computation ko. So, meron naman yan nakalagay sa mga Meralco bill. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, marunong na kayong mag-compute kung magkana yung expected na amount ninyo babayaran at the end of the month. Okay? Question sa electric energy before we go or proceed to the next topic. Okay. Uh, for the others, if wala, thumbs up na lang po para alam ko lang. No? Okay, thank you. Yeah. 
So now, we are now ready to uh, introduce yung Ohm's Law natin. Okay? So si Ohm's Law, sabi lang sa kanya, it defines a relationship between the three electric components natin, a voltage, current, and resistance. Ang sinasabi ni Ohm's Law, the current is directly proportional to the voltage and inversely proportional to its resistance. So ang formula niya is given by I is equals to V over R. So, ano yung ibig sabihin? Kung mag-increase yung voltage natin, since directly proportional tayo, mag-increase din yung value ng current natin. Then, kapag lumaki yung value ng resistance natin, liliit yung current natin. Which is true. Kasi di ba sabi natin sa resistance is siya yung pumipigil sa flow ng current. Kung mas malaki yung resistance natural, mas malaki yung pumipigil dun sa flow, dun sa current. Eh di, yung value ng current will be smaller. Okay? So, ito daw yung gamit na symbol, unit measurement and abbreviation. We already know that. So, again, ito yung sa voltage kung kita nyo, E or V yung gamit sa kanya. Kaya hindi natin ginagamit yung E for electric energy. Okay? And then... Ano mong bago dito? So, yung derivation lang. So, again, formula natin for Ohm's Law is I is equals to Vr. Then, pag change natin, pag in terms ng voltage, magiging Ir or R is equals to V over I. Pero may mas madaling tandaan yan. Using yung Ohm's Law triangle. So, pag hinahanap mo yung formula, kung alam yung triangle na V, I, O, R, ilalagay mo lang. Bawa, ang hinahanap mo si I, taktoban mo lang dito magiging V over R, no? Basta pag nasa ilalim niya, ibig sabihin divide. No, dito divide. Dito multiply. Okay? Pag tinanggal mo si V, yun yung unknown mo. Ibig sabihin IR, so multiply lang tayo. Then dito, pag si R yung hinahanap, ibig sabihin divide lang tayo ng V over I. Okay? Very straightforward. So I think don't need to memorize, no? Dali lang naman i-convert din or i-derive yung formula. Pero this is one way if you are more on uh, visuals. No? Mas madali kayo makamemorize ng visuals. Uh, ito, para matandaan nyo yung relationship ng tatlo. Okay? Yan. So we go to sa example natin. Uh, a bulb has a resistance of 5 kilo ohms. Okay? So we have R. And a current of 3 milliamperes. What, what battery voltage is needed? Okay. Ang, ang wala natin ay si V. Again, ang formula natin is V is equal to if nare-retain, kahit pa paano, okay, IR. Okay. So, ang kailangan natin pag uh, inano natin yan is nasa base unit dapat tayo. So, dapat wala tayong uh, prefixes or yung uh, sa yung prefixes sa mga units natin. So, ibig sabihin, di ba yung current natin is in uh, milliampere? No? So, dapat gagawin natin siyang ampere lang. So, si milli is equivalent to negative 3 ampere. Okay? Then, si 5 kilo ohms is equivalent to 5 10 raised to 3 ohms. Okay? Then, ito, another relationship na kapag nakita kayo ng ampere times ohms, equivalent yan sa volts. Okay? So, multiply nyo lang directly, we will have 1.5 volts. So, ito yung answer natin for number 1. Okay? Next, a 220 volt source. Okay, ito yung volt natin. And a bulb has a resistance of 1 kilo, um, uh, kilo ohms. How much current is flowing? So I is equal to P over R. Okay, 220 volts. Again, dapat base unit. So 1 times 10 is to 3 ohms. Okay, so relationship natin ng unit basta uh, volt over amp, uh, volt over ohms that will be ampere. So 220 divided by 1000 is 0 0.22 amperes. Okay? So 
So, yan yung uh, sagot natin sa number 2. Okay? Uh, okay, number 3. A 4.5 volts battery. Okay, so ito yung volts natin. And 3 milliampere. If current is flowing, what is the bulb resistance? Okay? Resistance is equivalent to V over I. Then base unit lang ulit, 4.5 volts all over 3 times 10 to the negative 3 ampere. Okay? So yung resistance natin will be equivalent to ilan? Sobrang ano? 1,500 ohms lang. Okay? So, this is our answer for number 3. Okay? Kaya pag input sa calc, yung notation natin, no? be mindful. Okay? Okay. So, ito basically is, yun nga, sabi ko nga, simple siya, no? Na mga problem solving na more on direct substitution do sa problem natin. So, saan natin pwede gamitin yung concepts na napag-aralan natin since last week para ma-apply siya sa more complicated problem. So, we need to introduce yung uh, two type of circuit natin. Matatawag natin series and parallel circuit. Pero before we go dito sa Ohm's Law, do you have any question for Ohm's Law? Okay. Thank you. So, again, we need to introduce yung two types of circuit natin, a series and parallel. Okay? So, ano daw ba yan? So, yung series connection is like uh, the one presented on the left side. Then, yung parallel connection is the one presented on the right side. Okay? So, didiscuss natin yan fully uh, sa mga next slide natin. So, paano natin malalaman kung paano nang uh, ano yung nangyayari kapag series ang parallel yung circuit natin, no? So, sa circuit muna, as a series muna tayo. So, pag sinabing series circuit, yung current natin can only take one path. So, ibig sabihin yung connection ng mga ah uh, ng mga resistor natin, like for this example, yung mga light bulb natin, no? So, ah uh, ibig sabihin yung dumadaloy na current sa kanya ay is only one. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, pag nawala yung isang, uh, sabi natin, alsin natin yung isang bumbilya, no? Or putuli natin. Pag nawala yan, ibig sabihin, magkakamero ng gap dito. So, sabihin si current, magpo-flow dito, pero pagdating nyo dito, wala na siyang pupuntahan. Kaya mangyayari, hindi na magsicirculate yung current natin. So, kung wala ng circulation ng current dun sa loob ng circuit natin, hindi na iilaw tong light bulb natin. Okay? So, yung key dito is yung amount ng current uh, in all points dun sa circuit natin is equal. Okay? So, dito, yung current natin, bawa, uh, di ba ito may source tayo? So, note natin na sa current, Paano siya nagta-travel? No? Nagta-travel sa current from higher voltage papunta kay lower voltage. No? Okay. So, laging ganyan yung flow niya. So, dito, makikita natin may given ang arrow. Yung flow ng current natin is papunta dito, no? Okay? So, ibig sabihin dito siya nag-start sa positive side ng battery natin. Kasi nga, sa current is nagpo-flow from higher voltage to lower voltage. Ngayon, di ba ito? Si battery natin, ito yung kanyang volts, total voltage. So, kung alam natin yung total resistance, no? Yung equivalent, total equivalent resistance ng buong circuit natin. So, ibig sabihin, pag sa series, is just the addition ng mga mga resistor, resistor natin. So, tawag na itong R1, R2, and R3. Okay? Yung R equivalent natin yan, or tatawag natin total resistance ng given circuit, is just the summation ng mga resistance natin. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, R1 plus R2 
plus R3. Okay. So, may value tayo ng B, ng, ng total voltage, as may value tayo ng total RT. Makukuha natin yung total current na nagpa-flow dun sa buong circuit natin. Which is equal sa lahat ng current natin. Sa lahat ng resistor natin. So, ibig sabihin, pagpasok niya dito, yung value niya, IT pa din. Paglabas niya, IT pa din. Pagpasok niya dito, IT pa din. So, dito sa resistor natin, anong, anong mga signages natin? Okay? So, again, gap, si current is nagsupo flow from higher to lower. So, kung ang flow natin is mapunta dito, no? yung papunta dyan yung flow natin, so, ibig sabihin, papasok siya ay sa positive, lalabas siya sa mas maliit. Papasok siya sa mas malaki, lalabas siya sa mas maliit. Papasok siya sa malaki, lalabas siya sa mas maliit. Okay? Then same dito, papasok siya sa malaki, lalabas siya sa maliit. Okay? So, ganyan nagpo-flow yung uh, mismong current natin. Then, yung representation lang ng circuit na to is the one on the right side, no? So, yung battery natin is represented by two lines wherein yung much longer line is the positive side then yung smaller line is yung negative. Okay? Then, itong mga uh, zigzag, no? Or symbol for resistor. Okay? Then, ito yung switch natin. Okay? So, ito, nabanggit ko na naman yung paano i-add yung resistance in series. So, each resistance in a series circuit adds to the total circuit, resistance of the circuit. Okay? So, total resistance in ohms is equal to the individual resistances. Okay? So, so light bulbs, resistors, motors, and heaters are usually uh, have greater resistance than wires and batteries. Kaya kapag nakita mo siya sa circuit mo, sila yung mag act as resistors mo. Okay? So, uh, ito lang, sample ng circuit diagram natin with values. Okay? And then, on the right side, a series circuit of 3 one, amp, 1 ohm bulb. Okay? So, same lang na. Okay, sample number one. So, do drawing ko lang to. Okay. Uh, let's see, meron tayong uh, source. Then, meron tayong... Okay. Okay, so yan yung uh, series natin, connected in series. Then, meron tayong given na 30 volts. Then, pinapahanap. Yan, may 6 ohms tayo and then 4 ohms. Pinapahanap is yung lahat ng um, lahat ng property ng circuit natin. So, yung voltage, yung current, yung power. Okay? So, lahat. So, ano yung pwede natin ma-solve dito? First hand. So, pwede natin ma-solve una is yung total resistance natin. Which is equivalent dun sa tawagin natin itong R1 and R2. So, R1 plus R2. Total resistance natin will be 10 ohms. Okay? So, kung meron na tayong total resistance, makukompute natin si total current, which is equivalent to total voltage all over total resistance equals to 30 volts all over 10 ohms. So, yung total current natin sa system natin will be equal sa 3 ampere. So, paano yung flow niya? So, yung flow natin, again, ito is yung positive natin, yung negative natin. So, sa current natin is magpo-flow ng yan, pag ganyan. No? 3 amperes. Okay? Then, papasok siya dito. Pagpasok niya kay first resistor, ano yung pwede natin makuha? Pag pumapasok ngayon, si, di ba, dumadalo yung uh, current natin dun sa buong circuit natin. Every time na nagsisend si battery natin ng 30 volts, di ba? Sinesend din niya yan. Kasama ni, siya ngayon nagpupush kay current eh. Di ba? Siya yung nagpupush ng flow kay current. Ngayon, pag pumapasok siya sa resistor, okay, 
ang tendency ni resistor is to uh, lessen yung voltage natin or yung yung uh, mismong value ng voltage natin. So, ibig sabihin, nagkaka meron ng voltage drop pag dumadaan siya dito sa resistor natin. Okay? Then, paglabas niya, di ba to, since yung flow ng current natin is papunta dito, so, kung yan yung flow ng current natin, ibig sabihin, positive to, negative to. Then, paglabas niya doon, positive to, negative to. Okay? So, yung voltage natin from 30 volts, ano ilan yung magiging voltage drop natin or yung mababawa sa voltahe natin. Kasi dito, sa point na to, converse dito sa point na to, sige, lagyan natin ng mga node, no? Okay. Dito sa tawag itong A, B, C, D, E. Okay. Sa, mula sa, sa uh, dito sa A, yung voltage natin dito, since wala pa naman tayong dinadaanan na battery, no? Mag-start tayo dito as value ng volts natin is, uh, change ko lang yung color. Dito is 0 volts tayo dito. Okay? Pagdaan natin doon sa battery, since meron tayong change ng... Um, yung current natin, di ba ang direction ng current natin pag ganyan? Okay? Later kasi meron tayong tatawag ng Kirchhoff's law. Okay? So, tatandaan nyo lang yung flow ng current natin. Kung ang flow ng current natin is towards sa positive sign, ibig sabihin, mag a tayo ng voltage sa kanya. Pag towards negative sign, magma-minus tayo ng voltage sa kanya. So, ibig sabihin dito, mula sa A, yung di ba yung flow natin is pag ganyan, pag ganto, pag ganyan, tsaka pag ganyan. Okay? Kung mula kay A, zero voltage tayo, magta-travel tayo, so towards positive value tayo. So, ibig sabihin, pagdating kay B, anong value ngayon ng voltahe natin kay B? Since dumaan tayo dun sa mismong battery natin, so since towards positive tayo, dito kay point B, meron tayong 30 volts. Okay? Kay point B. Mula kay point B, pupunta tayo dito. Kay C. Which is wala namang change, no? Wala tayong nakalagay na component doon. So, ibig sabihin dito, 30 volts pa din siya. Okay? Then, pagdating natin dito, yung current natin ngayon is towards negative. So, ibig sabihin, magma-minus tayo ngayon ng volt tayo sa kanya. Yun yung tinatawag natin voltage drop. Okay? So, hindi ko nga dito. Voltage drop. Pag yung flow of current is towards negative. Okay? Then, pag yung kabilakta na naman niya, voltage lift. Flow of current towards positive. Okay? So, yan yung para sa voltage. Yan. So, dito, again, since yung, cur yung current natin, ganito yung flow, towards negative tayo ng resistor. So, ibig sabihin, magma-minus tayo ng resistance sa kanya. So, ilan yung resistance na yun? So, Gawin natin yung voltage D, no? ito, itong point na to, will be equal sa voltage at C, tapos minus tayo nung voltage na to mula dito sa resistor natin. Okay? So, yung voltage ng 1 natin. Okay? So, correct, no? Mr. Fernando. So, dito, 30 volts tayo, tapos minus tayo kung ano yung voltage ito. So, Using Ohm's law, B natin is IR. So, ang I natin is ilan? Yung nagpo-flow sa atin equal sa lahat. So, 3 amperes times yung resistance natin na 6 ohms. Okay? So, 18. So, 30 volts minus 18 uh, volts. So, yung magiging 
voltage natin sa D will be equals to 12 volts. So, 12 volts na lang daw yung natira. No? Pero pag pinapahanap yung voltage drop mismo, yung V1 natin, dapat 18 yung sagot natin. Okay? Dapat hindi malito dun, no? Pag ang hinahanap is yung pagkalampas nitong resistor natin, 12 volts yung sagot. Pag yung, sa, yung voltage drop, ang pinag-uusapan natin, 18 volts yung pag, ano natin. Okay? And then pagkalampas natin dito sa point D, okay, lagay lang natin, na-compute natin, 12 volts na lang siya dito. So point D. Ngayon yung flow ng current natin, again, is towards negative side ng ano natin ng resistance natin resistor natin so ilan yung magiging voltage drop dun sa second resistor natin okay voltage drop natin so ibig sabihin ng kailangan natin is V2 no so I2 R2 so I2 natin is the same 3 amperes then R natin is 4 Okay, so voltage drop natin at 2 is 12 volts. Okay, so pag pinapahanap yung voltage at E, so that is just VD minus V2. So 12 volts minus 12 volts. So yung voltage daw natin at E is 0 volts na. Okay, which is tama lang kasi wala dito, pagbalik mo kay A, since wala na naman ditong another component, wala na ditong uh, magpo-flow na uh, wala nang resistor na dadaanan. Okay? Which is magsa-circulate na ulit sa pabalik. No? So, yan lang yung kagandaan na dapat naitindihan natin yung uh, nangyayari dito sa circuit natin. Okay? So, yan. So, meron na tayong value nito. So, Paano naman kapag power yung pinapanap sa atin? Ano yung total power natin? Doon sa, na, sa battery natin, ilan ka ang power natin doon sa battery natin? So again, ang, battery, ang formula ng battery natin is, anong ah, ng power is? IV. Okay. So dito, power natin, IV. So ibig sabihin, 3 times 30 is 90, anong unit? Watts. Okay? Sa resistance 1, ano yung power natin? So P1 natin is, IV lang din. So I natin is 3 times yung V natin dito. Ano yung V natin? Dapat yung voltage drop natin. No? So, yung voltage drop natin dyan is 18. So, that is ilan? 3 times 18 is 54 watts. Okay? Then, sa P2 natin, yung power natin sa second resistor will be 3 amperes times yung voltage drop natin at that point is 12 volts. Okay? For P2 natin is equals to 36 watts. Okay? So dito, yung summation ng power natin at each resistor is equivalent lang din dun sa total power na nagpa-flow dun sa mismong circuit natin. Okay? Question before we proceed to another example. Okay? Next, uh, sige, gawin ko lang ulit. Lagyan ko na siya ng mga node, no? Para, ano lang. Okay, so we have 60 volts, uh, 5 ohms, 3 ohms, and 2 ohms. Okay, so tawagin natin itong R1. 
R2 and R3. Again, we need to solve yung lahat ng property natin. Okay? So, first one, total resistance natin is ilan total resistance natin? So, we have 5 plus 3 plus 2, so 10 ohms. Okay? So, ano yung total current natin? Total current natin is Total current is uh, V over R. So we have, okay, 60 volts over 10 ohms. So we have 6 amperes. Okay? So yung 6 amperes na yan, yan. Again, this is positive. This is negative. So yung flow natin is paganto. Okay? So kung flow natin from positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. Okay, so voltage drop natin at, at each resistor. So yung R1 natin, ano yung value ng R1? Ah, V1 pala, sorry. V1 natin is just 6 times 5. So we have 30 volts. Okay, so V2 natin, we have 6 times 3. So we have 18 volts. Yung V3 natin, we have 6 times 2, 12 volts. Okay? So, lagay natin ngayon. Um, 30 volts. Then, we have 18 volts and 12 volts. Okay? So, lagay lang natin ng designation yung mga point. Okay, so from A, ang energy natin, ang volts natin is 0 volts. Then, go it towards dun sa battery natin, this will be 60 volts. Then, the same. Then to, papasok tayo ng voltage trap na 30. So, at point D, meron tayong, ilan tayo at point D? May voltage drop tayo, 30. Okay. 30 volts. Then, another voltage drop papunta kay E. So, magiging at E, ang ano natin, it will be 12 volts na lang. Then, pagpasok natin dito, magiging zero na lang siya. So, okay na, no? Yung system natin is okay. Next, um, power natin, ng battery natin. What is the power? Power is I times V. So, I times B natin, power natin dito is how much? 360 watts, okay? Next, dito sa first resistor natin, P1 is equals to, so dapat yung voltage drop tayo, no? Baka mali to, voltage drop. Ang gagamitin natin. So, 30 times 6. Okay? So, 180. P2 natin. We have 18 times 6. Okay? So, 108. Then, yung last natin is 72 watts. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, pag pinag add natin yung P1, P2, and P3, that should be equal dun sa total natin at 360. So, check natin. 180, 108, saka 72. That is 360, which is the same nung total power ng binibigay nung mismong battery natin. Okay? So, using yung concept ng Ohm's Law and ng power, we... Uh, oh, we identified yung iba, ibang values dun sa circuit natin. Okay? Question for series. Wala na po. Okay, so again, yung lagay ko lang dito, no, yung PT natin should be equals dun sa 
Yeah. Sa so, summation ng power ng each resistance natin. Okay. So, yan yung para sa series circuit. Next is, yan, balikan natin si voltage. So, si voltage daw sa rate at which energy is drawn from a source at produces flow ng electricity. Okay, alam na natin yan. So, each separate resistance create voltage drop. So, yun nga in-explain ko kanina. Once the current passes through. So, as current pass, uh, flows along a series circuit, each type of resistor transforms some of the electrical energy into another form of energy. Okay. Then, go na tayo sa parallel circuit. So, in a parallel circuit, the current can take more than one path. So, ibig sabihin, hindi lang tayo one path ngayon. So, ngayon, pwede tayo mag-flow dito. Pwede siya mag-flow dito. Pwede siya mag-flow dito. So, ibig sabihin, kapag naputol o na meron ng gap dito, o ang bawa, alasin mo yung bumbilya yung sa pangatlo. Okay lang kasi magkakameron ka pa rin ng additional uh, remaining two flows doon sa mismong system mo. Kung maga, yung connection natin is hindi siya uh, hindi niya maapektuhan yung connection ng ibang resistor natin. Okay? Because of the presence of multiple branches, yung current natin is not the same at all points ng circuit natin. Okay? So, yung may mga node tayo, no? yung branching point natin. So, siguro kailangan pa din i-define yung isa dun sa mga Loni Kirchhoff, no So, next week pa naman natin di-define yun, pero kailangan natin define ngayon. Na ang sinasabi lang ni Kirchhoff current law, ang sabi niya, yung lahat ng uh, current no? napapasok sa isang node, dapat equal siya dun sa lahat ng current na lalabas dun sa node na yan. Okay? So, ibig sabihin niya dito, kung meron ka dito, to, sa example natin to, kung may 3 amperes kang papasok dito sa node na to, so, dapat, i-divide niya yung 3 amperes sa dalawang sa dalawang way. Okay? So, dito sa right side or dito sa downward. Okay? Then, yung value man nito, pagdating niya dito, i-divide niya ulit yun. Okay? Hanggang mag-beat ulit sila lahat dito to form yung circuit natin. Okay. So, ayan. So, yun nga. Nakalagay Kirchhoff's current law. All the current flowing into a branch point o yung sa node natin in a circuit must flow out. Okay. So, nakita dito. From 3 amperes, pag flow nyo dito sa ano, na yung 1 ampere bumaba, yung 2 amperes pumunta sa right side. Then from 2 amperes, yung 1 ampere tumuloy sa right side. Bumaba yung 1 ampere. Then dito, magpo-flow na lang yung 1 ampere. Mag-meet ulit yung dalawa dito sa point na to. So again, yung mag in So may 1 ampere ka dito, may 1 ampere ka dito. So ibig sabihin yung lalabas sa kanya magiging 2 amperes na. Okay? So dito, mag-meet ulit sila. So 1 ampere, 2 amperes. So yung lalabas dito will be 3 amperes. Okay? which is dapat 3 amperes nga kasi dito pagdating sa connection na to naka series type na siya dito. Okay? So later uh, or next week meron tayo mga examples na concerning combination ng series parallel circuit. Okay? Okay, so when analyzing a parallel circuit, remember that the current always has to go somewhere. Okay? So lagi may pupuntahan yung current natin. So in parallel circuit ang um, constant naman ngayon at it uh, across each branches is yung voltage natin okay So because yung mga branch natin has low resistance but back to the battery okay the amount of current in each branch is parallel circuit is not necessarily the same okay So the resistance in each branch determines the current in that branch Okay, so basta pag parallel circuit na tayo, yung total voltage ay equal sa voltage 1, voltage 2, voltage 3, or kung ilan man yan. Okay? So, kung sa series, current ang equal dito, voltage ang equal sa parallel. Okay? 
So, parallel circuit have two big advantage over series circuit. Ang isa daw is each device in a circuit sees the full battery voltage. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, uh, lahat nung, nung nabawa sa ilaw natin, lahat sila equal yung na re-receive na voltahe. Unlike kay series, may kita nyo, halimbawa, mag, mag mag-connect uh, kayo ng tatlong bumbilya in series, makikita nyo very dim yung light niya. Kasi nga, kada daan niya dun sa isa, binabawasan niya. So, bawas na yung mapupunta sa pangalwa. Then, pag umilaw si pangalwa, babawasan ulit niya yun. So, yung mapupunta kay pangatlo, kukunti na. So, yung ilaw natin, hindi kasing liwanag kapag nakaparallel circuit tayo. Kung nakaparallel yung circuit natin, since each resistor or each light bulb is receiving the same amount of voltage dun sa source natin, so yung magiging ilaw niya will be much better or much brighter compared with the series circuit. No? Then each device in a circuit may be turned off in independently without stopping the current flowing to the other device in the circuit. Okay? So, yun nga, kung halimbawa, itatanggalin natin yung bumbilyang pangatlo, yung dalawa will still uh, continue to light up, no? Kasi meron pa ding nagpo-flow na current sa kanya kasi hindi nga dependent or yung each light bulb natin is receiving different path flow ng current. Okay? Then, i ano lang natin ito, i-singit lang natin, tatag na short circuit, is a parallel path in a circuit with zero or very low resistance. So, short circuit can be made accidentally by connecting a wire between two wires at different voltage. Okay? So, makikita nyo dito, uh, different yung voltage natin kasi dito, sa so kinonectan niya, zero yung voltage, tapos dito, 1.5 yung voltage. No? Kasi ito, mula na siya sa positive eh. Ito, mula doon sa negative. Ay, doon sa negative natin, zero ang volts natin. So, magkakamayon tayo ng uh, short circuit talaga. Okay? So, short circuit are dangerous because they can draw huge amount of current. Okay? Kasi since uh, dahil, ano, dahil abnormal yung volts, ang voltahe doon sa short circuit natin, ina since si voltage yung nag uh, nagpo-push di ba sa current natin kung abnormal kung may abnormality dito so ina-attract niya yung yung flow natin yung current natin okay so ano ba to uh, additional info for parallel circuit so pag-add naman daw ng resistance sa parallel circuits uh, provides another path for for, for current and more current flow. So, yung pag-add ng uh, resist uh, ng ano ngayon sa sa parallel circuit natin, hindi na siya the same nung sa series natin na direct na addition lang ng mga resistance natin. So, later meron tayong papakita na um, kung paano kinukuha yung each value ng equivalent resistance nung buong parallel circuit. No? When more current flows for the same voltage, the total resistance of the circuit decreases. Okay? So this happens because every new path in parallel circuit allows more current to flow for the same voltage. Okay? So, try another example. Uh, okay, so let's say we have Okay, so let's say we have this circuit. So let's say meron tayong 24 volts na source. Then we have 6 ohms and 8 ohms na resistance. Okay? So to solve yung mga parallel circuit, all you need to do first is to identify yung tatawag nating equivalent resistance. So yung total resistance natin. So kinukuha siya by getting yung... Um, inverse no nung uh, 
inverse nung inverse nung kada value ng resistance natin. So, usually kasi may formula siya. Di ba? Matatanda nyo, may formula tayong um, R1, R2 over R1 plus R2. Di ba? May natatanda kayong formula dyan. Pero minsan kasi uh, na, nalilito na ang bata kapag kalimbawa naging more than 2 na yung resistor natin. Okay? So, mas maganda gawin natin, i-add natin yung inverse nung kada resist, uh, resistor. No? Then yung total niya is si inverse natin. Yun yung total equivalent resistance natin. So, paano ba mangyayari dyan? Kung halimbawa, ito talaga yung formula. So, di ba nangyayari dyan? 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. O si inverse natin. Ang mangyayari dyan, LCM natin is R1, R2. Then ito will be R2 plus R1. Tapos kung i-inverse natin yan, that will be the same. Nung formula ang ginagamit natin. No? Na yan. Okay? Para at least kung halimbawa naging more than more than 2 na yung resistance natin, kung ito na directly yung gagamitin natin formula, addition lang nung inverse, then yung total sum niya will uh, i-inverse ulit natin. Mas madali na natin makukuha. No? Paano yung sinasabi kong yun? So let's say, Pagka meron tayo ng tatlo na resistance. So, ibig sabihin, ano yung equation mo ngayon yan? Gamit tong ganito. No? So, hindi malinaw. Kung gagawin natin 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3, okay, then inverse. So, algebraically, kailangan yung sloob, gugawin mo 1, R1, R2, and R3. This will be R2, R3 plus R1, R3 plus R1, uh, R2. Tapos inverse niya. Dapat yung formula mo is R1, R2, R3 all over R2, R3 plus R1, R3 plus R1, R2. So, ito yung dapat alam mong formula. So, additional memorization na naman yan. Ay, paano kung maging apat, maging lima, maging anim? Okay? So, magiging dadami lang yung i-memorize mo. So I suggest para makuha yung equivalent resistance for parallel circuit, you just need to take the summation of the reciprocal of each resistance. Ito yun. Then kunin mo yung, to, yung pag nakuha mo yung total sum ng resistance na yun, kunin mo ulit yung inverse niya. Okay? Malino tayo doon? Para ma-avoid lang natin yung pagiging dependent sa memorized na formula. Okay? So, erase ko na ito. No? Okay. Erase ko na ito. So, I hope ano, malinaw yun. Okay. So, ilan yung equivalent natin ngayon? So, patry ako sa CalQ kung marunong pumundot ng inverse sa CalQ. Ilan yung value niya? Ilan dapat yung equivalent natin. So, saan sa CalQ yan? So, sa CalQ, yung inverse is makikita nyo sa tabi ng sign. No? Kung ganito yung CalQ. Yan, ang tabi ng sign. Yung X na may, may, ta, 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 ta. So, may negative exponent. Negative 1 exponent. Yun yung inverse natin. Okay? So, pwedeng gawin nyo 6 inverse plus 8 inverse. Okay? Yan. So, 6 inverse plus 8 inverse. Tapos equal nyo lang. May makukuha kayong value. Tapos, i-inverse nyo lang ulit yung answer. So, magiging answer is the same with the answer of Mr. Ayag and Mr. Fernando na 3.429. Okay? 3.43. So, the same. Okay. So, answer natin is 3.43. Oops. Okay? So, once na nalaman na natin yun, ang kasunod natin ngayon is laging si total current no so ano yung total current natin total current is voltage total over r total so anong value niyan okay so 24 divide lang natin yung 3.43 natin okay so uh, okay, so round up na natin. So, 7 amperes. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, 7 amperes to. 
Okay? So, from positive to negative. So, kita natin si total current natin papasok dito sa node na to. So, ibig sabihin, pagpasok niya dito, magsashare siya dito, magsashare siya dito. Okay? Paano natin kukunin ngayon yan? Ano yung property ng parallel circuit niya ulit? Alin ang equal? Equal is yung voltage natin, yung power source natin. So, ibig sabihin dito, meron tayong 24 volts, meron tayong 24 volts. So, kung meron tayong I, meron tayong V, ay, kung meron tayong R, tsaka meron tayong V, makukuha natin si I1, tsaka I2. Okay? So, tawagin natin tong R1, R2. So, anong value ni I1? Value ni R, I2. So, si I1 equal sa V1 over R1. Eh, si VT equals kay V1 equals kay V2. Okay? So, 24 divide 4. Ah, 6 pala. Sorry. 6. So, meron tayong 4, 4 amperes para kay I1. Okay? 4 amperes. Then, dito... Sa kabila, I2 natin is 24 over 8 or 3 amperes. Okay? 3 amperes. Which is, check natin, mula dito sa pagpasok niya sa node na to, 7 yung total. So, bababa tayo ng, syempre, dito yung direction natin. Walang ibang direction sa current, kundi pumunta dito, tsaka pumunta dito. No? So, ibig sabihin, yung sign nito will be positive, negative. Then, yung flow dito will be paganto. So, this will be positive, negative. Okay? So, 4. Ibig sabihin, yung I total natin equals yun sa summation ng I1 plus I2 natin. I total natin 7 amperes. Calculated I1 natin is 4 amperes. Then, I2 natin is 3 amperes. So, equivalent sa 7 amperes. So, correct yung value yung nakuha natin. Okay. Next is Ayan, so identify natin, no? So ito yung flow ng current natin. Ayan. So pagdating dito, ano yung value ng current natin? So lagyan nga natin ng designation. Okay? From E to F, anong value ng current natin? Okay, the same no 3 amperes pa din tayo kasi paglabas na dito naging 3 amperes na siya. 3 amperes na dito, no. Kasi 'di ba kung itong C to F connected siya in series lang. So again, kung in series lang tayo, yung ating um, current is equal all throughout no ano natin. Connection natin. Okay? So dito is 3 amperes din siya. Then, pagdating dito sa node na to, so, meron tayong pumasok na dalawa. So, yung mag -e exit na current natin, ilan? Okay? So, 7 amperes na. Kasi mula doon sa 4 amperes na manggagaling dito, then 3 amperes mula dito, so 7 amperes na. Which is correct. Kasi dito sa connection natin na to, no? pag, pag sinimplify natin, to, in series to. Kasi diba ito in parallel to. Pwede natin yun i-represent by equivalent natin na so magiging siyang ganyan. One, isang resistor lang. Kasi ito yung value ng R equivalent natin. So kung R equivalent natin yun, ibig sabihin in series na yung connection natin dito. Kaya dapat yung value ng uh, value ng current dito at value ng current dito should be equal which is true para dito sa given natin. Okay? Next, power natin. Ano yung value ng power natin? Sa battery muna tayo. Total power natin is equals to I times V lang tayo. Okay? So, 168 watts. Then, for R1, anong P1 natin? Since meron tayong I at B, so 4 times 20 
4. So, we have 96 watts. Sa P2, ilan? We have uh, 3 times 24. So, we have 72 watts. Pag pinag-add natin yung P1 and P2, that should be equals dun sa P total natin, which is 168 watts. Okay? So, this completes our circuit. Okay? Question para sa sample number one. Okay. Okay, thank you. Next, example number two. So, let's say, gawin natin ngayong tatlo yung ano natin, resistor natin. Okay, yung value natin, meron tayong 12 volts. Uh, we have 2 ohms, 4 ohms, and 5 ohms. Okay, so ito yung R1 natin, R2 and R3. First question, ano yung R equivalent natin? R equivalent natin is 1.05. So let's check. So 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 5. Then, inverse lang natin. So, uh, 2 inverse, 4 inverse, plus 5 inverse. Then, yung answer natin, inverse natin. The answer is 1.05. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Bautista. Okay, Ms. Bulados or Mr. Fernando. Okay. Okay, next. Total current natin. Ilan? Total current natin is just 20 over 1.053. So, that is 19 amperes. Okay? So, 19 amperes. Okay? So, each resistor, can we calculate yung mga I natin? Yes. I1 natin will be equal to V over R, so this will be 10 amperes. I2 natin will be equal to 5 amperes. And I3 natin will be equal to 4 amperes. Okay? So, let's graph. So, dito, na-calculate natin 10 amperes. Then, dito is 5 amperes. Dito is 4 amperes. Okay? So, ibig sabihin dito, may magpo-flow na 9 amperes. Kasi, di ba 19 minus 10, may 9. And dito, may magpo-flow na 4, which is tama. Okay? And dito, 4 amperes. Dito, may papasok na 5, may papasok na 4. So, this will be 9 amperes. And dito, may papasok na 10, may papasok na 9. So, this will be 19 amperes. Okay? Correct? So, sign natin, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. Again, si current natin is pumapasok mula sa positive papuntang negative. Okay, next is identify natin yung, anong kasunod na kailangan natin yan? Is yung power natin. So, power natin sa 1, P1 natin will be current times voltage natin so we have 380 watts total power okay p1 natin is okay 200 p2 is 100 okay p3 is 80 Okay. So, by checking, dapat yung summation ng powers natin is equivalent sa total. Is equals to 200 plus 100 
plus 80 watts. So, 380 watts equals to 380 watts. Okay? So, correct. Okay? So, yan. Kompleto na yung circuit. Ano natin. Okay? So, question sa series parallel natin. Okay. So before we end, siguro bigay ko sa inyo tong ano as assignment to hindi naman to submit but to study, no? So actually is a sample circuit diagram na pag-aralan niyo lang kung paano siya i-solve, no? Then we will discuss next meeting. Okay? Again, this is a, just a practice problem. So, kung gusto nyo i-apply yung napag-aralan natin for both series and parallel, magandang practice sa na para mas ma-appreciate nyo yung learning. Okay, so we have 60 volts. Then ito is... So, ito ay 10, um, 10 ohms, 5 ohms. Uh, 3 ohms, 2 ohms, then 10 ohms, and 5 ohms. Okay? So, ito yung una. So, bali, uh, this is combination ng series and parallel. Uh, I will clarify no, regarding sa finals if it will be next next week or next week na. Okay? So, clarify ko pala muna, no? Eh, balikan ko kayo siguro within the day kung kailan yung sa, sa finals. Kasi original schedule natin should be next week. Pero since yung semis natin is na move ng one week, so baka mag-move din ng one week yung final. So please wait for an announcement later on. Okay? Then tung another one natin. So again, this is just a practice. Sansan yun ang drawing, no? Best in drawing talaga ako. Okay. Okay, we have 120 volts. And 10 ohms, 3 ohms, 9 ohms, uh, 5 ohms, 4 ohms, and 8 ohms, tsaka... 1, 12 ohms. Okay? So, no need to copy naman. I will upload this later on. Okay? So, ito lang yung practice problem natin. Combination ng series and parallel. And if ever, uh, makonfirm ko yung schedule. So, it's either magawa na lang ako ng video kung halimbawa next week talaga yung exam regarding sa pag-solve na itong dalawang uh, combination ng series parallel. Then, yeah, basta advice ko kayo. Okay? Okay, so if you don't have any more question, this ends our lecture for today. Okay? So before we go, attendance lang tayo. So start with G003.